This is the iPad Pro. Apple wants you to spend a lot more time looking at screens. They were everywhere at the company's big special event in San Francisco. New iPhones, a bigger iPad, the iPad Pro, and new features on its watches. And the biggest screen of them all, Apple TV. Manhattan Venture Partners, Max Wolf. I think the TV was the buried lead here. I think the idea of having a new, more Apple-like TV experience is going to be interesting. It launches them into the living room where they kind of had been frozen out in any major way, and it pushes an App Store approach to consuming TV, and it pushes a kind of Apple universe there. That's a big deal. It starts at $149 and has an App Store and a voice-controlled remote control and Siri. Apple's newest phones feature 3D touch interface and other upgrades. iPhones drive nearly two-thirds of Apple's revenue and have been a source of concern as China's economy has suffered. But the upgrade impressed Patrick Moorhead of More Insights and Strategy. I actually believe that this is going to show of those doubters that they are going to keep on a roll in China. They didn't have to make as big a changes as they did, but they did do it. I don't think they're showing any mercy to Samsung either, who I think is going to be the biggest loser uh, in, in here. Apple also unveiled a larger iPad aimed at businesses, along with a keyboard and Apple Pencil. 